Hey guys, welcome back to Z Code System, and we hope you are staying safe at this time as the COVID-19 pandemic continues going on around the world. Now today, we're going to take a look at horse racing and talk a little bit about some of the different aspects of horse racing and some of the tools that you can use provided by Z Code System to wager on horse racing. Now, if you are an avid sports better like we all are here at Z Code System, then you may have turned your attention to horse racing over the last few weeks. Um, I know that I personally wager most of my uh, my betting money on soccer and basketball and a few other sports like that. Uh, those are my serious sports to wager on. Uh, but the, every once in a while, I love to have a punt on the ponies. And usually, living in the UK here, we have different festivals that happen all over the or throughout the year. Uh, the different horse racing festivals, such as Cheltenham and the Grand National and Royal Ascot, and it's always great to have a punt on those big events. And I greatly enjoy doing that. And you might like that as well with the Kentucky Derby, or say the Pegasus World Cup, or the Melbourne Cup, or any of the other different horse racing festivals that take place throughout the year. But one of the great things about horse racing and one of the reasons why a lot of sports bettors have turned to it over the last couple of weeks is because, for the most part, it takes place daily at many of the race tracks and race courses around the world. So here are a few of the reasons that you should focus on horse racing uh, for your betting at this time during the COVID-19 pandemic, or perhaps you may want to gradually move more into horse race betting in the future. Now, of course, my first point here is that it's still going on despite COVID-19 and the pandemic that is going on. So you have the chance to go to your favorite online bookie right now and to look at the various horse races that are going on around the world. And there are a few that will be taking place or a few countries uh, which is uh, still allowing horse racing to go on currently. Now, as you can see in Multiple races are run each day with horse racing. Now, the various horse race tracks and courses around the world, they will have daily races uh, and races, multiple races throughout the day. Now, of course, there are the big major horse racing festivals that occur um, every year, such as the Kentucky Derby or the Grand National or the Melbourne Cup. Uh, those are the major races that the sport builds up to. But of course, we have the uh, the daily races and the multiple races per day that take place at the various race courses. So these are all fantastic ways uh, to wager. But of course, you need to have a bit of a strategy. And of course, you can go over to Z Code System and you can uh, get help from our forum there. And you can also read up on our latest blog, which looks at horse racing for uh, horse racing form that is. Uh, to get an idea of how to bet on horse racing. So I encourage you to do that. Now, another reason to bet on horse racing is because of the money that is involved in it. Uh, as you can see there, horse racing generates over $116 billion in revenue each year. Now, I read something uh, a little bit uh, ago, a few weeks ago, actually, uh, in which in Australia, one of the reasons they have not stopped horse racing during the COVID-19 pandemic is because of the amount of money and the jobs that it generates in Australia. So there is a lot of money in horse racing, whether you are a uh, on you're betting on it or if you're working in it. So um, this is a sport where there is a lot of money to make. And as you can see, the Kentucky Derby, which is the biggest race in the United States, in 2019, it set records um, and Horse race tracks across North America did a simulcast of the race and allowing people to wager on it. And so, as you can see there, $165.5 million was wagered on the Kentucky Derby alone last year. That's in May of 2019. Now, the Kentucky Derby has been postponed until later on this year. I believe it's going to be run in August, September time um, off the top of my head. 
but we will get to see a Kentucky Derby at the moment uh, unless things change. But again, there's going to be a lot of money this year in 2020 wagered on the Kentucky Derby, probably about as much or more than last year and possibly more because of all of the uh, new laws or the new sports books that have opened up in the United States, allowing more people to wager on the Kentucky Derby. Now, as you can see here, there are just a few major events that I've picked out here. The Kentucky Derby, Pegasus World Cup, Grand National, Melbourne Cup, Royal Ascot, Cheltenham Festival. These horse racing events uh, are just a tip of the iceberg of what you can wager on throughout the year. And again, these are the major events. Uh, in terms of Cheltenham there or the Royal Ascot, those are multi-day events as well. Cheltenham is a four-day race uh, festival in which there are, I believe it is six races each day. Royal Ascot is a five-day festival. So there is so much horse racing that you can wager on each day. And again, these are the major events. There are daily horse races that take place at tracks across the world uh, in Australia or in the United States that you can get a piece of. And you can also go to your online sports book and you will be able to find odds on those races and you'll be able to uh, get information and then go do your research before wagering on those races. So keep that in mind that there is so many, there are so many opportunities to wager on horse racing each and every day. Now, when will horse racing return? That's one of the big questions because of course we've got sports that are on pause right now around the world, although there are murmurings of these different sports leagues coming back uh, just minus fans. Now, if you look on your favorite sports book uh, online, you will see that Australia, New Zealand, and the USA are still running right now. Um, I know that uh, Tampa Bay Downs is one of the big horse race tracks in the U.S. that is still running, as well as Gulfstream down in Florida. They are continuing to have their daily races. Uh, an interesting note, uh, the other week, Fawner Park in Nebraska, a, a race course that people who have really no idea exists, um, has suddenly become a major place uh, in terms of betting, a uh, major site of, of wagering on the horses, which is quite interesting because so many people are turning their attention to horse racing and trying to find ways to wager to make their profits. Now, the UK, France, and Ireland are currently on lockdown of horse racing. The UK may not return for a little while. Now, France has already said that in May, they hope to get things going again, and that's the plan. And they plan to start running a regular uh, schedule of horse racing just without fans coming out to the race courses. Ireland, they're not as close as France, but they have said that once they make a decision on whether uh, once they make a decision on when to bring back the horse racing, it will take a maximum of ten days to get things back to up and running to start racing uh, competitively. So things could be back on the agenda in Ireland soon. So this is a lot of horse racing and a lot of good news for sports bettors, regardless if you are already someone who bets on horse racing. Now, we've got some excellent tools over at Z-Code System that you can check out to use and to help you better understand horse racing. If this is something that you've never wagered on or you're new to or you're a novice, or maybe you're an expert at, at horse racing and you want some more information. Well, we've got it for you at Z Code System. And one of the tools that I think you should definitely go and check out is the Horse Racing Bible What You Ought to Know to Make Serious Money with Horse Racing Picks by Tony Motri. Now, this is an excellent piece of work, and this will give you a lot of great information on what to look for, how to research, and how to pick winning horse racing bets. Tony has worked really hard on this book. He's used a lot of his great expertise, insight, and uh, his systems to give you more information about how to wager on horse racing. And you can use this link uh, right here to go over and check that book out at zcodesystem.com backslash Bible. And you'll be able to find some of the other great betting Bibles that we have over there, eSports, fantasy sports, some great information in all of those, and you can sign up for free and you can grab those, download those as PDFs. Uh, and you can also go over to the Z Code System forum and get a lot of great information from our community 
because we're all working together to make profit on sports investments. So we can help you and you can help each other. So go over there and get onto that now. And of course, this is the Z Code System Bible here for you can go over to this page and you can download the different uh, Bibles that we have in PDF form, sports betting, or sorry, sports investing Bible, the eSports Bible, daily fantasy sports, football and soccer advanced winning strategies. And of course, you will be able to get the horse racing Bible that's up there. And we're going to have some more of these betting Bibles that are going to be coming out or sports investing, I should say, Bibles coming out in the near future for you to get to. Now, of course, there's our forum. So you can just go through there and you can get all kinds of excellent information and uh, knowledge on horse racing to help you make your winning picks. So guys, I encourage you to go over and do that today and start getting your head around betting on horse racing. You're going to love this and you're going to make a lot of great profits. So guys, good luck with your sports betting this week and I hope you enjoy horse race betting and reading through the new horse racing bible presented by Tony. So guys, good luck and we will see you soon here at Z Code System.